You are fake news. You are fake news. You are fake news. Eleven billion dollars and thirty years since announcing polio eradication as a goal. And we're 99% of the way there. 99% of cases have been eliminated. The last time I scored in the 99th percentile was in kindergarten. And I lost one point because I couldn't spell my name right. So 99% elimination is progress, but it's not eradication. So is eradicating a disease even possible? Through this unprecedented worldwide effort in which even rival superpowers cooperated, smallpox was finally declared eradicated in 1980. Polio is different yet similar to smallpox in one key aspect, the fact that they both only have human vectors. This gives us a small sliver of hope because it means that polio, like smallpox, if eliminated in all humans, will be eradicated forever. But polio needs a community immunity of up to 92% to ensure transmission is stopped, while smallpox only needed 85%. 7% difference, that's nothing, right? and the jargon of our 45th president of the United States of America. It's a huge problem. The huge problem. That is a huge problem. So why do countries not take it upon themselves to eradicate polio? In this instance, let's take a closer look at Pakistan. Despite the dangers in all three countries, the vaccination teams are unstoppable. I mean, it can't be that hard to get rid of polio. Every country but three has been able to do it. So what's happening, Pakistan? You can't play basketball with the big boys? This week, four health workers, three of them women, were killed by assassins while dispensing anti-polio vaccines. Another reason, the CIA has admitted it used a fake vaccination program in 2011 to collect blood samples in the search for Osama bin Laden. I guess they are dealing with poor management, operational deficits, negative propaganda against vaccines, and conflict which might be a problem. It might even be reason enough to have trouble eliminating all the cases of polio. But when you consider so many problems, why should polio be the focus? If polio eradication efforts were stopped at this very moment, then 200,000 children would be paralyzed by its resurgence annually. But on the other hand, general vaccination efforts could have prevented a few diseases and chipped away at others. But instead of taking that route, we've only been hyper-focused on one thing, polio, and eradicating it, something we don't even know for sure is possible. So that leads me to my final question. How do we recounsel eradicating polio as a goal and general vaccination efforts to do what's best for public health? without neglecting either.